guys, it's Amanda. If you're new here, I'm an American living in the UK, and I post about my life and experiences living here, as well as these weekly reactions requested by all of you. I've had so many requests for Blackadder, and to be honest, I had no idea where to start. But today, we're going to watch How Did World War I Begin? Now, isn't there like four different series? Which one is the best? Let me know in the comments. I've got all to do except sit and wait. Well, I don't know, so we could, uh, we could have a jolly game of charades. Oh, yes. And a uh, sing-along of musical hits like Birmingham Bertie and, uh, whoops, Mrs. McGinn's you're sitting on my artichokes. <laughs> yes, I think bugger all might be rather more fun. <laughs> Permission to ask a question, sir? Permission granted, Baldrick, as long as it isn't the one about where babies come from. <laughs> The thing is, the way I see it, these days there's a war on, right? And ages ago there wasn't a war on, right? So there must have been a moment when they're not being a war on went away, right? And there being a war on came along. So what I want to know is how did we get from the one case of affairs to the other case of affairs? Do you mean how did the war start? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the war started because of the vile Hun and his villainous empire building. George, the British Empire at present covers a quarter of the globe, while the German Empire consists of a small sausage factory in Tanganyika. <laughs> I hardly think that we can be entirely absolved from blame on the imperialistic front. Uh, oh, no. No, sir. Absolutely not. Man's a bicycle. I heard that it started when a bloke called Archie Duke shot an ostrich because he was hungry. I think you mean it started when the Archduke of Austro-Hungary got shot. No, there was definitely an ostrich involved. Sir. Well, possibly. But the real reason for the whole thing was that it was just too much effort not to have a war. By gum, this is interesting. I always loved history. The Battle of Hastings, Henry VIII and his six knives, all that. <laughs> you see, Baldrick, in order to prevent war in Europe, two super blocks developed. Us, the French and the Russians on one side, and the Germans and Austro-Hungary on the other. The idea was to have two vast opposing armies, each acting as the other's deterrent. That way, there could never be a war. But this is a sort of a war, isn't it, sir? Yes, that's right. You see, there was a tiny flaw in the plan. What was that, sir? It was bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> so the poor old ostrich died for nothing. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I can see why it was voted one of the best British sitcoms. It was also really cool to see the young Hugh Laurie doing something other than playing the miserable Dr. House who I love, by the way. <laughs> Remember to let me know your favorite episode or season and put it in the comments. And remember to keep the recommendations coming and I'll keep watching. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.